Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in color mats to create a clean and modern looking transition or wipe between clips. So I've got a couple of clips laid out in the timeline, and in my opinion, this would work great for any type of instructional or maybe like a tech review, or maybe even a fun and modern cooking video or something like that. It's a very clean and simple look. So in order to begin creating our transition, let's go to File and select New color mat. So this is where you can pick perhaps the colors which are the theme of your channel or branding or whatever you're using it for and press OK and you should see it pop up in your project media bin. So now you can click and drag these color mats. They're just solid blocks of color clips in between or on tracks of your project. So I'll drag it down to size because I don't want it to be too long. It's just going to be a quick color wipe and maybe for good measure you could do one, two, three, four, five, six to the left, and you could cut off that end and delete it. And you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and bring that in. So now we have a quick little color mat, but let's animate it so that it acts as a transition. So if we go to the effects panel on the right hand side and we actually open up the video transitions effect, there's a ton of different effects for us to play around with and experiment. So let's go to the slide folder and let's just use the push transition. So I'll add a push at the beginning. It's gonna take over the whole thing if your clip is too short, so I'll drag that back in. I want the push to end right at the cut, and then I'll add another push at the end. Now, if you go to the effects control panel, there's a few things that you can adjust, like the direction that the push is happening in. So you can see here the push starts, it comes in from the left, and it exits to the right, which is fine, but let's say I think the flow of this clip is more going leftward, so I'll press coming in from the left here, and for exit, I'll also make it exit left. So when we press play, let's see what that looks like. So you can see it acts as a really clean and minimal color wipe because as soon as the cut happens, the clip is fully available, but then it transitions out and we see the next clip because the cut happened while the screen was blocked by the color. So I consider that a very basic and simple but effective use of this transition technique. However, you can also go into stacking these color mats and applying all different types of keyframed or video transition effects. So let's go to File, New, and add another color mat. But this one, let's choose a complementary color. So I'll pick a bright green this time. And let's drag it onto our clips the same way as before and drag it down to size. And now we can play around with the opacity of this or the different directions to push and create a combination of effects for the transition. So I'll turn off the animation options and keyframes for the opacity and I'll just lower it to a flat 75%. Now let's add some transitions onto this. So we can do the same push transitions or we can try other things. So let's try a barn doors transition. I'll drag that at the beginning. I'll pull it into size so that it starts at the cut and then I'll drag another one on the end here. So let's see what that looks like when we combine both. As you can see, it creates a bit of a combination of effects which catch your eye and then by the time you know it, the next clip is already there. But when I say there's really an endless amount of possibilities, there really is. You can have things coming from up to down, you could have things coming left to right, or you can mix and match and stack different colors. You could even use keyframed effects like I was saying earlier. You don't have to use transition effects. We could take the actual keyframing of this, like the position, so you could start the keyframe of the position all the way off the screen, and then you could go in towards the cut, reset it so that it fills the entire screen, and then at the end you could pull it off the screen leftward, or maybe even up and down combination of diagonal, whatever. So when you press play, you get a interesting wipe with these color techniques. So you can even go in and add different velocity between two keyframes. So you could take a keyframe and make it ramp into another so there's a bit of a more advanced motion going on. You could even right click and have the keyframes ease in or ease out so that you have different things going on with these keyframes and create interesting wipes of your own. So play around with using color mats as a transition. It's a really clean and modern way to do After Effects type of titles in Premiere and it'll give your video a clean, colorful, and modern look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and go follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho. If you're not, I love reaching out to you guys on there, connecting, messaging, live streams, and all that. So once again, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.